Hello everyone. Welcome to Carson City Libraries Computers for Beginners video tutorials on files, folders, and programs. My name is Vanna Bells and I am the Creative Learning Librarian where we offer programs for all ages. I've adapted this in-person class for you to learn at your own pace. You'll learn the different types of files, learn how to name, rename, and organize files into folders, and briefly learn about programs and apps on your computer. I'll also provide a list of additional resources at the end to enhance your learning. All lessons are for Windows 10 users. I appreciate and welcome all feedback, so please fill out the survey in the description. Questions? Email me at creativelearning at carsoncitylibrary.org. Let's get started. Essentially, a file is a project you're working on because it can be edited over and over again. Examples of files are photos, songs, videos, a Word document like a resume. Each of these files can come in different formats. That just depends on which program or device you're using. All the files on the computer can be found in many ways. The best way to find your files is in the File Explorer. Let's use a photo of my cat, Ellie, as an example. I put her file, I put the file, in the pictures folder. I didn't name this file DSCN1111. That was a generic file name my phone gave me because I took this picture with my phone. I hover over the picture and I can see the item type says it's JPG. So um, that's the file format I was talking about. And there are many other, other kinds of file formats for photos. It, it tells you the date that I took it, dimensions and size. Let's rename this file. I right click on the picture and go to rename, click on that and type in Ellie. I press enter to save the file name. How you rename photos or files is up to you. You want to organize files based on what works for you, on what you can remember, so you can easily find your files on your computer. Let's learn about folders. When you use a Windows computer, it comes with pre-made folders or default folders. Documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos are the standard default folders. Um, 3D objects is a new folder. I don't use this folder because I don't make 3D objects. And then desktop is actually connected to what you see here. Okay, anything living here on the desktop will show up here in this folder. Let's make a pretend file. Here at the bottom, these are two examples of a Word document program. This is Microsoft Word. This is something you have to pay for to use. This is Notepad. This is free on your computer. And I'm going to click on it. And right now, this document is blank. The title shows up here. Right now, it's untitled. So if I save this document right now and I didn't change the name of the document, it would be called untitled. I'm going to type in my favorite fruit, watermelon, and I'm going to save this document. To save this document, I'm going to go to File, Save As. The difference between Save and Save As is Save As makes you choose where you're going to save your document and to name the document. So I'm going to name this document um, Fruit. Now I've already made a document named Fruit, so I might have to change it to Fruit 2. So let's just change it to Fruit 2. So I change the name here to Fruit 2. I'm going to save this 
Fruit 2 document on my desktop. And I am done with this document, so I'm just going to exit out. So that's my first fruit document, and this is my second fruit document. I'm working with two monitors to record this video, so that's why you didn't see these documents on this screen, but here they are now. And I'm going to close out of this, and I'm going to show you how to make a new folder. If I right-click on the screen, a menu pops up. This means more, this means you can do more things. So I'm going to go to new and I'm going to click on folder. I'm going to name this folder basket and to save the name I have to press enter. Okay. I am going to click and drag fruit document to my basket folder and I'm going to do the same thing to fruit 2 into my basket folder. So I just clicked and drag my fruit into the basket folder and I don't see it anywhere on the desktop so that must mean it's in the basket folder and there it is. Let's delete one of these fruit files by right clicking on fruit 2 and I didn't click on it properly I clicked here which gave me the menu but again let's right click on fruit 2 and delete the file. So now I only have one fruit document in my basket folder. Other common ways to organize your files are by date. I want to have all my tax return information based on the year, for example. So the last tax return would be in the folder tax return 2019. So let's do that as an example. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it tax return 2019 and I press enter to save the file name and pretend I had a whole bunch of IRS documents. I would click and drag every single one into this folder. That way I can have it all in one place. But, and let me just show you that I can also put a folder in a folder, so I'm just gonna move the basket folder into the tax return folder. I'm opening up this folder. I can see the basket folders in there, and then I'm gonna open up this basket folder and I can see that fruit document in here. Let's learn about programs. Many programs come pre-installed on your computer. Each brand of computer, Dell, HP, Toshiba, have their brand-specific programs. Most are free. I'm using an HP laptop right now and an Acer monitor, but I'm just gonna show you the HP programs. So if I click here in this search bar and type in HP, it shows me some of the HP apps. However, I'm gonna to go to the top here and click on apps. So it's gonna show me all the HP apps that I have on my computer. And then I can also go to the store to purchase more apps if I wanted to. But now, um, for the purpose of this class, apps and programs are the same. It's okay to think that they're the same because they provide the same purpose to people like you and me. The way they're built is what makes them different. So again, Apps and programs are the same thing for the purposes of this class. Apps originated on smartphones and tablets, but now uh, apps can also be on computers. Again, their function is the same. They're giving us, the user, um, something to do with those programs or apps. They're, they each have a task. Back in the day, you had to worry about how much storage space you have on the computer. Now, not so much. Many computers come with more than enough storage space for the everyday user. So now you don't have to worry about deleting programs because of space. You can now delete programs that you just don't use. 
So I'm going to click on the Start menu, and I am going to delete here a program. Um, this is an alphabetical list, and I am going to delete Mahjong, simple Mahjong. I don't play this game. This is a game. So you right-click here and go to Uninstall. And there it disappeared. After this video, if you want to learn how to organize programs, please watch the video called Windows 10 for Beginners Start Menu, which I link to the playlist in the description below. This is the library's YouTube channel. Please hit subscribe for more content. We offer, like I said, we offer programs for all ages. I'm going to playlist, and then you can check out all of these videos in the Windows 10 for Beginners playlist to learn more about how to use computers. If you think you need more practice and want to read about this topic, files, folders, and programs, you can learn more um, from the GCF Learn Free website. The link is also in the description below. The next video tutorial topic in the Computers for Beginners series is the internet. I appreciate and welcome all feedback, so please fill out the survey in the description Questions? Email me at creativelearning Carson, at carsoncitylibrary.org. Thanks for watching and stay strong, Carson City. Bye.